So uh, welcome to the second installment of the Summer 2016 Autonomy Incubator Student Exit Presentations. Our last presenter in Group 2 is Abby Hartley, a recent graduate of Dartmouth in Creative Writing. She's been with us now for two semesters, is the queen of social media, and we're looking forward to maybe having her back with us um, sometime this year. So, Abby. All right, so like Danette said, I'm Abby Hartley, and uh, I was the original social media person for the AI last summer, and I was so thrilled to come back this year and do my <coughs> same job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I, so let me, let's just get right into it, I guess. Uh, so I have two goals for the blog, basically, which was my main focus this year. Last year I was in charge of the blog, the Twitter, and also creating video, which I was not particularly gifted at. Um, but this year my main focus got to be the blog, and that was really thrilling. So my two main objectives for this were, one, educate American people on a level they can understand about the research we're doing, because it's really, really cool. Like, I have no STEM background, but I think what we're doing is really, really amazing, but a lot of people can't understand a lot of the jargon because they never learned it. Uh, so I want to sort of make what we're doing accessible to the rest of the world so they can see what clinical stuff we're doing. But simultaneously, I also want to promote the research y'all are doing to peers in like the community. Uh, so it's kind of a fine line to walk and it's challenging, but I do my best to make sure I serve both those audiences. And also, uh, while doing so, make sure I don't tell anyone that we fixed the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> and if those of you who haven't been on the blog, I'm one, crying, but two, this is what it looks like. Uh, one of the things I did this summer was I added some sidebars over here. So now we have uh, the most popular post from the last 30 days over here. And I was very proud of myself for figuring out how to do that, which is really simple, but I still, you know, I'm not particularly computer literate, so that was fun. Um, and here's the, the entire team. Uh, this is Anika, she was a volunteer who's with us once a week, and she ran our short form content, which was Twitter and Instagram, and she was really good at that. Uh, then there's me, and then of course there's Kasten, who did our videos. And our workflow sort of worked something like this. Uh, so, basically, Cast and I worked together most of the time because Anika was only in once a week. And I, uh, Kasten would create a video to enrich the blog content that could also stand on its own for our YouTube channel, which took off this summer for obvious reasons. And then we would uh, update each other on things we heard about that I want to cover. Like if I was out and something cool was happening, I'd go get Kasten. If Kasten was out and something cool was happening, he'd go get me. Uh, if I was interviewing someone, I would try to make sure I'd tell Kasten so he could get footage of it in case he needed it. Um, that was sort of just how we, we worked together. And then while that was happening, I tried to keep Anika updated with things that were going on in the lab when she wasn't there. So I would take pictures and send them to her with like descriptions for tweets. I would let her know what we're concerned with this week, uh, that kind of stuff. And a lot of times like pictures I took would go on the Instagram as well and videos that Kasten made would end up on the Instagram as well for like Instagram exclusive content, which I thought was really cool. And of course, Anika's other main job was to cross promote our other social media on Twitter and Instagram, like the blog and the YouTube channel. So. We were sort of a, a pyramid of greatness, if you will. Uh, it, it worked really well, and I'm really pleased with how the summer came out, as I'll get to later. All right, so I'm just gonna run you through like what one of my cloud charts looked like, because I'm not a scientist, and I the way I present sort of like just went a little differently than everyone else's. Uh, so usually I would include a graph of how the week had gone based on views, and. Uh, put up milestones for how well we were doing in our various social media endeavors and usually put in some kind of thing to make sure if you were listening. Um, never did conquer the Americas. So this is a, also a feature I would do. I would put up the top post of the week or once we started getting like less regular with uh, our sprints due to demos the last whatever. Um, in this case, it was uh, Kevin's exit presentation, and then it also keep people updated. Okay, here's what we did this week. If your name's on here, please share it, and here's what we're thinking about doing, all that kind of stuff. So I tried to make sure people 
knew what I was writing about, even if they weren't regularly checking the blog. Uh, that way, which is more transparent, if someone was doing something cool, I could be like, well, they could be like, hey, I'm doing this, come hang out and see what I'm doing, like Javier did uh, with his research. He was really good about that. So I want to sort of look at how our blog is doing over time, because if it's not improving over time, then I'm not doing my job. Uh, so last summer, before I got here, um, our peak was 144 views for a month, and then in my first month, it jumped from 31 in May to 598 in June, and then again to 2,820 in July 2015. So, anyone want a ballpark? What do you think we accomplished this year? Like, how, how well do you think we did in like our peak month, which is July? 5K. You're not wrong. <laughs> All right, so last month, Ooh. that's that big spike. Um, we got 4,238 page views, which also gives us a total of almost 8,000 page views for the summer. And that's just like right now, which is astronomical compared to the rest of our history. Uh, so not bad, y'all, not bad at all. Good job, you're doing interesting stuff and people wanna read about it. Um, I also wanted to look at what our top performers are because that tells me something about what works and what doesn't. And what I found were the ones that did the, the best, uh, which is Angelica's piece about VR, um, Javier's piece about his avionics research, and then the review, is I learned that one, the things that do best are people who have very large families. <laughs> that's what I learned. Uh, like, because that's literally the source of traffic for all of these, is family. And that's sort of, it's good and bad for me because obviously I want to educate as many people as possible and if I'm writing in a way that like someone's mom can't understand that I'm also not doing my job but at the same time I really want to break into more of like a, a a general market like people who are just interested in this kind of thing and I'm not sure I'm doing that yet uh, so for the future I'm interested in trying to maybe expand our audience and looking for ways to promote what we're doing in a way that's more accessible to people, not just through like links on someone's personal Facebook page. And that's where 100% of our traffic comes from, mostly. It's not Twitter, it's not uh, Google searches. Our like top four results are various iterations of Facebook links, like mobile, regular, all that kind of stuff. So that says to me, maybe we should make a Facebook page. Uh, I know it's difficult, but I think that would be really, really important for reaching a more general audience and also just thinking about how to market ourselves differently. So that's something I'm, I'm looking at right now is how to improve that. All right, so what did I learn? A lot. Um, I learned more, I did more research for this job than I did for my undergrad thesis, as you can see about this graph. Um, <laughs> and there were a ton more robots than my senior thesis, which is also very important. <laughs> what's the what's the units on your um, yes. black thesis? Um, this is like barely any and so many. Uh -huh. It's a, a, a sort of a continuous and scale. A, yes, a continuous scale between those two okay. uh, points. And then <laughs> for research, I have a lot and more. So the bottom would be a little. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> she worked hard on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and um, I also learned again, just like last summer, I learned a lot about coding and math and flight mechanics, and so now I can talk on a really high level about a lot of things. Most people with my degree have never ever encountered, which is really cool. Uh, I will never ever run out of dinner party conversations, so thanks for that. Um, and I also figured out, I, I just confirmed for me that I love doing this. I love writing about uh, like sort of STEM fields, which I never would have expected for myself. I, I used to love science before I found out I was really bad at math, and this has been a way for me to get back into that. Uh, so I've, I'm just really happy. And I also gained a lot of confidence in professional environments, even though this formatting is messed up, because if I can come into some place where I have absolutely no expertise and a lot of times don't know what people are talking about and still do pretty well, then I can do anything, basically. If I can do this, like, I'm, I'm good, like I'm not, I'm not messing up. 
Uh, and I'm also, again, coming back to you guys once more in January, most likely, which means you'll never, ever get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you to Danette Allen for taking a chance and having a social media team and a slurpy consultant. Um, thank you to Lotran for sharing half his PhD with me. Thank you to Ben Kelly for making me coffee so strong it made my ears sweat. That's <laughs> <laughs> when you know it's good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you to Kyle McCord for letting me blow the lunch horn occasionally. Thank you to Jim Nealon for answering all of my probing questions with much less sarcasm than I know you're capable of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Thank you to Zach Johns for launching my FPD racing career. Thank you to Ralph Williams for always making me wear my safety goggles. And thank you to all for, to all of the interns for educating me so patiently about both science and Pokemon. And finally, thank you to Cast and Day for to being the Daenerys to my Cal Drogo and the other half of my binary star system. If he were peanut butter, he would be Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow.